Hello friends, this is Music Man from His Man Cave, and now we're going to talk about saving a little bit more. A few items that need to be fixed. Come at you right now. So you're maxing out your 401k, or 403b, or Roth IRA, or whatever. And so now we need to talk about what are the things that you need to uh, make sure that you save for. Well, I call this my emergency fund. It's a name that I, I uh, got off Dave Ramsey's book because I think it's a good name for it. It's an emergency fund. Uh, that way when the, something happens with the car and the motor is knocking or uh, a, a bearing goes out on a wheel, you're not, oh, good heavens, what am I going to do? You are, oh. Uh, let's look at our budget and see if we want to replace that or replace the car. Now, so, uh, the bottom line is is that you're going to need some money for some certain items that are going to come up. These are going to come up. You have your house paid off now, right? You have your 401k. You're putting a certain percent in your 401k. And now, there's a few other items that are coming up, and they're going to come up. It's not if, it's when. First is you're going to have to replace your car, or you're going to have to repair your car. So, how much do I save? I, I save about ten to fifteen thousand, uh, and then if I deplete it, I fill it back up, and then I move the money some other place for some other thing that that, that will possibly come up. So, your car is going to break down. Well, no, I have a Toyota Camry. They never break down. Yeah. Right. Uh, when you replace the timing belt on Camrys, it costs about $500 if you do it right. Because you're going to want to replace the tensioners, the pulleys, the uh, oil pump seal. Uh, you're also going to want to replace the water pump while you're in there. Yeah, it's coming. You're going to get a cracked windshield. That's going to cost you 200 bucks, which is cheap compared to what it used to be. Uh, those things are coming. Uh, so you need to be ready. You're going to have to put new tires on your car. Okay, it's going to happen. Brakes have to be replaced. Uh, fluids have to be flushed. There's malfunctions. Sensors have to be replaced. Uh, get over it that you're going to buy some car that's going to go 15 years and not have any reliability issues. It's coming. Okay, second thing that's going to happen is your furnace is going to go out. Or central air unit, if you live in the south. Because central air is just as important as heat where I live. It's going to go bad. And they're going to come in and they're going to tell you that some vents need to be replaced because they have mold in them. And they're going to tell you that the, your, your system is shot and you're going to need to replace that. So how much is it going to cost? About five to $7,000. So you need to put that money aside. I use a budgeting tool called Every Dollar. It's really handy. I'm just putting how much money I think I'll need to replace that. And, I, and once it's filled, like I said, create another savings category. And, uh, and so you're going to need about five to $7,000 to replace that thing. Your hot water heater, about every 10 to 15 years, is going to go out, according to where you live. Um, I do it myself, so I save a lot of money here, but it's going to cost you about $1,000. So you better put money aside for a new uh, water heater. Not hot water heater. I say that a lot, but it's water heater. So you're going to need to put money aside for that. Uh, water heaters in this part of the country are tested to the limit. Because the water comes in ice cold, which is great to drink, but it is not great for taking showers. You a uh, forty-gallon hot water tank just won't do it here where I live. <laughs> this won't survive. Okay, what else is going to happen? Your plumbing. You're going to have plumbing issues. Bet on it. Now I can do my own plumbing, so I save a lot of money here again. But uh, replacing your copper is going to cost you about five to seven thousand dollars. You're going to need to replace that sometime while you're living in the house before you at least once maybe more than once so be ready for that how much you're gonna need well it depends uh, but I would have money set aside for that and be prepared for that to happen your sewer line all the way out to the street before you die will need to be completely replaced how much will that cost well right now about ten thousand bucks but in the future who knows maybe fifteen twenty thousand so you're gonna need money for that and let's not leave out the electrical Right now, I need wires and my walls to be yanked out and replaced with new wires. How much is that going to cost? Thousands of dollars again. Man, it's owning a 
home thing doesn't sound like a very good deal. Well, uh, you have to determine that. But I will tell you that these things are coming. Um, you will have a flood in your basement. There are two types of basements. One's that's leaking and one's that's going to leak. Uh, your sump pump will quit. Uh, I don't need a sump pump where I live. But if you need a sump pump, it will die. And you will find water standing in your basement. Unless you're a paranoid, obsessive, compulsive type that's out checking your sump pump every day. Is it working? Is it working? So all these things, if you put the money aside, no big deal. But if you don't put the money aside, you're going to feel like you got trampled by an elephant when they come. And uh, so, uh, yeah, the cars and the house, they're a money pit and things are coming. So just be prepared for them and then it's no big deal. But if you don't prepare for them, you're going to regret it. So that's what I call my emergency fund. Um, and I put, add up all those totals, and that's how much money I put into my emergency fund so that I'm covered in the event that uh, something's coming. Now also health. Eyes, I get iritis. Arthritis in my eyes. Yeah, it's weird, I know. Uh, things come. Health crisis has come. And that's the biggest thing in retirement, why you need that 401k stuffed full of money. That's why you need every nook and cranny you can stuff money you should stuff it because it's not going to be because you're going to be broke and you're not going to be able to live comfortably it's going to be because when that health crisis comes uh meta i think it's medicaid medicare is only going to cover uh, b uh, i think it's b and d is only going to cover a certain portion and then the rest is dumped on you so that money needs to be there and you need to have a certain amount of it that's readily accessible so you can grab it right away um, and so that, uh, and I'm, yeah, I, I'm really a downer today, but those are all the things that are coming. And if you're aware of them, then you're going to have an adequate savings account and you're going to do all right. If you're not aware, it will rob you of your money so fast you won't know where it went. Anyway, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. If I have, I'll tell you later. Anyway, Music Man, till next time, see ya.